Dancing on Ice star competes 24 hours after horror hospital trip. A Dancing on Ice performer was rushed to hospital after suffering an injury. Max Evans' Dancing on Ice partner Ailes Quirdo was rushed to hospital after awkwardly plunging to the ground in rehearsals yesterday. The horror fall meant their place in the competition was in jeopardy as producers at the time weren't sure if Ail would be able to perform in the live show tonight. However, Max has confirmed on Twitter that the show would go on and professional skate rail would be returning to the rink for Sunday's live show in a matter of hours. The 34-year-old rugby union player, wrote, I'm very happy to say ill and I have had a little skate and we are ready for a full dress rehearsal. Fingers crossed all goes well and we'll be ready to put in a good performance tonight. Yesterday it was revealed that Ail stumbled on the ice during a lift gone wrong. She was taken to a nearby hospital where nurses had told her to rest for 24 hours before getting back into her skates. Partner Max took to Twitter last night to dispel stories that he dropped her in training. He wrote, Her feet touched the ground and I let go of her and then she slipped backwards. I thought she was safe by her feet touching the ice, so I let go too early and that's my mistake. Wish I'd held on a moment longer. Dancing on Ice is just three weeks into its 2018 reboot and already the competition is hotting up. Just ten contestants remain, including Coronation Street cast member Brooke Vincent. Last week, Hollyoaks cast member Stephanie Waring, who plays Cindy Cunningham, was sent home in the second dance-off. She followed Bake Off's Candice Brown, who was the first celeb to be eliminated from the reboot. Catch Dancing on Ice tonight at 6pm on ITV.